What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube draft here on www.magic.w.com. I'll be your host, Magic, Magic Stevens. The switch bits work on this. Yes, yes. Anyone can get. Anyone can get. Uh, affiliate is lower than uh, than partner. So if an affiliate can get it, then a partner can get it. Yes, bits bits work quite quite well. And you should actually be able to see the uh, the cheerleaders in the chat. Cheerleaders, <laughs> but with a space. Cheer leaders. So. Those who are ahead of the cheers. What's up, Forrest? Yeah, I'm all right. I guess. When when's Pepper Talks next live show? That's a good question. Maybe sometime this week. <clears throat> also, if you guys want to commission any deck critiques or stipulations, feel free to do so. You can check out the information in the chat. Uh, not in the chat, in the description below or in my Twitch profile. What is the pick here? What do we got here? Plow under is pretty brutal, as we mentioned, as we may have noticed uh, when Swell Mike was on stream. Cyborg Yui, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I think it's just Plow under. Like this card was mighty impressive. The Devoted Druid or the Coalition Relic might come back. Both of them allow us to play this Plow under a little sooner than uh, than we should otherwise be able to. I'm gonna windmill slam that thing. I guess it wasn't a windmill slam. We took a little bit and uh, we thought it over. I'm gonna regular slam it. <clears throat> Ten testing the bit system. Nice, appreciate it. I uh, I approve of your bit test. <coughs> uh, breeding pool is nice if we want to be blue. Phyrexian metamorph is nice even if we don't want to be blue. Mr. Lee step? I don't even know what that means. Thorn Lieutenant's nice if we just want to stay green. This pack's actually interesting. I think we're just gonna take Metamorph here. We don't we have no reason to assume breeding pool is gonna be relevant for us, and Metamorph is always gonna be relevant. Pretty much no matter what deck we pick. And a third pick primeval titan is a nice sign here. I will take Dingus Egg. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Just here as always for some good modern plot action. That's that's what we want to deliver here. That's what we're here for. And a donation goal, refresh you. Okay. Oh, Vivian Reed. I would like this Rattleclaw because it helps us play Plow Under earlier, but I think this is more replaceable than Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed just kills everything, which is great. Everything relevant. Baneslayer, Demon Lord, Bells Unlock, Conclave Tribunal, Oblivion Ring swords she just kills enchantments artifacts and flying creatures are just utterly insane to be able to just blow them out of the water i like how mixless i like overgrown tomb i don't like primal command that much i probably just want to take overgrown tomb just in case if we're gonna stay mono green none of these other cards are very good so i'd rather take this card we've had some luck with black green so i want to take that Ooh, Kodama's Reach also helps us play Plow Under early. Terastodon is nice. Huh. I have broccoli stuck in my mouth from... In my teeth from Thai food. That's life, though, you know? Sometimes you get some broccoli stuck in your teeth. It's either Reach or Terastodon. I don't think anything Vivian kills is relevant. What does that even mean? 
That feels wrong. I think we're going to take Kadama's Reach here. We can get more big idiots. However, this card is great. <clears throat> also, I kind of want to take this Find Finality here. Getting back two creatures or just wiping the board is pretty nice. Also think it's better than Tarmogoy for Polychronos. And <clears throat> Dragonlord Ojitai is nice. Steel Leaf Champion, but we're not going to be red, so I'm going to just take the Steel Leaf Champion. That's pretty easy. Well, nothing great here, but we could take Slaughter Pact and just stay on the black course. Yeah, that seems good. It seems all right. I don't know if I'll go so far as to say it seems good, but. Court of Calling, Thorn Lieutenant, and Mana Gorger Hydra all came back. That's a pretty good sign for the green deck. Thorn Lieutenant's been pretty good so far. I don't hate either of these either. We can also take Demon Lord Bells and Lock. I'll take Thorn Lieutenant. I don't want to go too too deep into black if we don't have to just yet. Thank you. The color red. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What's up, Remaker? Uh, Genesis Wave, Banslayer. We could just be white, but we don't really have a reason to be white here. This is also a green card. Like, we can just play for mono green. We can just play fine no matter what. Um, I'm going to take the Knight of Autumn. I think it's it's good enough. Like, it's basically just Reclamation Sage for a white, but it also has two other modes, which is pretty solid. I think if you play Knight of Autumn in your cube, you probably also, maybe you don't need Rex Sage as well. Because they, they're literally just, they're both three mana two ones uh, that destroy an artifact or enchantment when they enter the battlefield. Only Knight of Autumn can also gain you four life or be a four three, <clears throat> which is significantly better. Let's not go too deep into black yet. Snaps off Gary. Yeah, that I could see that. That could that could be a thing that I would do. Oh, Doom Whisper. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah. That'll do, pig. And the primal command came back anyway because, just like me, not completely. Uh, no one else is overwhelmed with it. Oh, Graveborn Muse. All right. <clears throat> Floaty Head Mike was gas. You are correct. I lost it. I lost my damn mind. Grave Titan. Nickel Bolas God Pharaoh. This pack is stacked. I think we're just taking Grave Titan, and then we just have um, double double good Titans. Also, a flip of Erebos tables. It's not too shabby. It turns Doom if 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 we whip of Erebos tables, it turns Doom Whisper into like a mini Gristle thank Brand. You. Shifty Gamers, thank you so much for the six months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Channeler Initiate and Farseek are both ways to get Plow Under as soon as possible. Also, there's a Verdant Catacomb, a Misty Rainforest, and a Mana Confluence. And I'm pretty sure we'd play all of those if given the opportunity. I like Farseek a little better because it's not uh, reliant on... It's not... You don't have to... It doesn't have to survive, basically. So I'm going to take that. I don't want to play a two-drop creature that's meant to ramp me if uh, it might die. Elves of Deep Shadow would be a nice addition for this deck. I'm usually not a big Elves of Deep Shadow fan because I don't like taking a point every time I add a mana, but <coughs> Carnage Tyrant, good lord. Actual Gristle Brand, Garrick Primal Hunter, these are all very, very good. Like, I don't know if we want another six drop, <clears throat> but I also don't know if we don't want another six drop. Especially because we're playing a big idiot ramp deck. 
I don't think we're playing. Like, oh, this is okay. So we're tangentially uh, Sultai because of this guy. <clears throat> I don't think we want four black, but God, if there's a deck that can get it, like we have Farseek and we have Kodama's Reach. Pokemon, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Take the middle card. Is there a middle card? You might just mean the Gristle Brand because my options were this, this, or this. I'm not. I think. I'm going to take the Gristle Brand. I think it's just too good not to take. Oh, Cultivate. <clears throat> I will definitely play Cultivate and Kodama's Reach in this deck, especially with Gristle Brand. And maybe Masquerone comes back. Maybe. This is also my favorite sword as well, so. I'm tempted to take that. We can also just take Gonti, which is very strong in cube. I think I'm actually going to take the Gonti here. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little scratchy throat. Tooth and Nail is pretty nice. Eh, Night's Whisper is really the only card in this pack that we'd actually consider playing. <clears throat> if we got a Bloodstained Mire, we can play the Stomping Ground and get a green or a black, but we could also just do that with Ogre and Tomb anyway, so Phyrexian Obliterator. That is fascinating. That is fascinating. The original Draft Boy. I'm not going to take this. I will take a Pilgrim's Eye. I think Pilgrim's Eye is fine. Scavenging Ooze, also pretty okay. <clears throat> Stop some strategies cold. That's nice. Whip of Arrows did come back. Wow. How long am I going to stream? I don't know. I have no idea. One or two drafts, perhaps. Definitely one. You should stream forever. Dead to me. <laughs> oh, case. Thank you. JT always, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I agree. It does seem strange in Q because you can't actually craft your strategy around it. Like, in our deck right now, C Collected Company would hit, like, three creatures. Four creatures with Pilgrim's Eye. So it's just kind of weird. <laughs> we'll definitely be doing one draft. That is a good point. <clears throat> I feel like we're locked into one here. Wow, this Garrick came back? All right. Come on, Massacre Worm. I mean, if the, if the Phyrexian Obliterator came back, I feel like we're in the right colors here. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Um... I think I blacked out for a second. I actually have no idea what I was trying to say there. <clears throat> that was weird. JT, always appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for saying so. The good old GGG BBBB mana base, a classic. This is this is exactly what we're trying. We got an overgrown tomb. It's all good. I'm going to take Soren because I don't feel like dealing with all his dust. Also, we could definitely splash these guys if we needed to. Kitchen Finks is fine. Had someone Coco, you with the Coco and missed on both? Yikes. Yikes. I feel like at that point, you're probably just better off getting something else back with Eternal Witness. <laughs> Can we splash New Niv Mizzet? Maybe. What are we not sold on here? Scavenging Use is mostly a sideboard card, in my opinion. Pilgrim's Eye is probably worse than... It's definitely worse than Cultivate and Kodama's Reach. Thalia. These are definitely not the same casting costs. Causes. I like Blooming Marsh here. I also like Acidic Slime, but we don't have... We have enough 5 drops, so I'm not super interested in adding another 5 drop. Do -do 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 -do. I think we just want another Fixing Land. I 
I do I know I want it? Yeah, I definitely know I want it, but we're gonna have to be a little more I think we're gonna be a little more reserved here and take the uh I like a Liliana. I like a Gruel Signet, but I think I like Nissa even better. This is just a T2 that gets a land and it's a planeswalker that does other things later. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, he witnessed. <clears throat> also, Elder Straborn, Pack Rat, Ultimate Price, and Woodland Cemetery. All very good. I'll even take this. One of these cards is sure to table. <clears throat> I think we got to do E Witness Plow, right? Yeah, we got to do E Witness Plow. Hundred percent E Witness Plow. Honesty Stream. How many Walkers would you be comfy running in a deck that also has a Mortal Sun? Oh, like three at most, I think. I think with four, you just take out the Immortal Sun. <laughs> so, also, Stacks, I don't know if that's actually an honesty, honesty Stream question. That's just a regular question. Honesty Stream usually wants to get personal, right? Like, hey, how many walkers would you be comfortable running if they were all naked and coming into your house at random times during the day? And then I'd be like, well, I don't know if I'd be comfortable with any of them because that's a weird question. I don't really know why you asked me that. <clears throat> and that's more of an honesty stream question, I think. It's probably Utopia Sprawl here. Oh, actually, I like the Celestia Signet because it does let us play uh, Knight of Autumn if we want to or Soren if we want to, which is not terrible. And we also need two drops. I don't love Utopia Sprawl because it has to be put on a forest. This is my favorite Nissa, I think. This is one of my favorite Nissas. I don't know if there's a, a, a better Nissa. Probably this Nissa. Honestly, sure. Real feelings on Elk Tears. Uh, I love Elk Tears to death. I think that needs hearts in the right place, a hundred percent of the time. But I think he can get a little. What's the word I'm looking for? A little pushy. He can be a little, a little aggressive. He can come on a little strong. That is my feelings on Elk Tears. But I love him to death. I think the guy's great. I'm going to take this Abrupt Decay. Or we could take the Orzhov Singer, then we have double Signets for... We're not going to take Damnation. Actually... Eh. This pack's good. I like this, this, or this. Abrupt Decay is nice because we don't actually have a way to do that. I'm going to bring Abrupt Decay in. Into my pool, that is. Oh, Vraska Relic Seeker? Oh, that's great. That's gas. I'm probably going to remove this Graveborn Muse at this juncture. What is Elk Tears? Elk Tears is the Twitch.tv user named Elk Tears. And he's a good friend of mine. And I'll be visiting him and a lot of the other draft boys in uh, December. Why is Elk Tears? How is Elk Tears? <clears throat> it's just acidic slime here, right? That seems good. I want to go plow into acidic slime. That seems good. <laughs> oh. Forrest, you got to proofread these messages before you send them. Your autocorrect is going crazy, buddy. Uh, we actually don't have the Gary. We did not draft the Gary. Gary is in someone else's deck. We have Night Whisper, Grave Crawler, Graveborn Muse, Kite Sail, Dread Wanderer, and Slaughter Pact as our black cards. This Liliana's fine, especially when we have two Titans and a Gristle Brand. I don't think we're going to be playing it, but. I like Ultimate Price better than Nissa. We have a lot of Planeswalkers already. Specifically, one, two, three, four, technically five. And. Uh, I do like having ultimate pro access to ultimate price. So, Utopia Sprawl came back anyway. That is fascinating to me. I'm not going to take the Dark Confidant in this deck for obvious reasons. I will take an Infernal Titan just because. Oh, the Damnation came back? <laughs> what? That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> And Moxon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I 
All right, so this is 23 cards, but I'm tempted to add Ultimate Price and Utopia Sprawl. And maybe even Damnation. I do like being able to get two creatures back from my graveyard in my hand. This is also kind of like a Damnation, though, so I don't really mind not having Damnation. We could just use this and also keep one of our guys, too. I like Whip because well, we only have 11 creatures, but then again, this makes creatures, this makes creatures... She turns your lands into creatures. So we have a lot of ways to take advantage of the lifelink. <clears throat> also, whipping back something like an Eternal Witness or... I don't think Nissa would work because the Exile, right? Yeah, that seems bad. Um, yeah, I do like Sprawl over Signet, I guess. I'd like having both, though, to be quite honest. That would be ideal. Ultimate price might be better than Abrupt Decay, but I'm not sure. Do we need Cultivate and Kodama's Reach and Nissa? I don't know. But I do like the guaranteed option of playing a Plow Under on four. I think we're okay like this, and I just <clears throat> see what happens. Eight and five. I think we can go four and nine. This is 11 sources of green, six sources of black, but also tons and tons of ways to get black mana. Black mana, black mana, black mana, black mana. So I think this is fine. Oh, a plane's in there too. You want to sneak that plane's in there. All right. So 15 lands. That's not correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just gonna add two more forests. We want we want a lot of forests because Utopia Sprawl needs a forest. And everything else, like, is pretty. Actually, Kitchen Finks is kind of meh. Why well, you gotta be kind of meh, Kitchen Finks? I actually do like Signet over Finks, to be quite honest. <clears throat> and I think we just run it like this. Six sources of black, is that enough? I'm going to cut one because we're adding the Signet. Yeah, I don't want to have to get four of my black sources to play Gristlebrand. Though I think that is uh, easier to do. Especially because we can untap uh, over Overgrown Tomb with Anissa, so that gives us two. Primeval Titan searches them out. Vraska gives us clues. So we actually have way more ways to get black mana than just swamps in our deck, so. That I'm okay with. I'm going to keep this just because of Steel Leaf Champion. Kodama's Reach also gets us our second and third black source. And uh, we can see where that leads. There's also a, a high chance that we draw either a one or two drop here, so. Maybe it's not a high chance. I don't know. It's a chance, I guess. Well, still a chance. We still, we still have a chance. There's still time. Yeah, Vivian's basically a dominant raid, but instead of... Uh, Potentially not doing anything for the plus one. It almost always does something for the plus one. Okay, well. Now it's, now we're just playing standard Blooming Marsh and a Steel Leaf Champion. Without having a turn five play, or a, or a five mana play rather, I don't really see us Kodama's reaching here. Rexian Arena is pretty good. I'm a little afraid of that. <clears throat> so we're actually in a situation where we can get two swamps with the Kodama's Reach and uh, still play Gristlebrand. It's pretty nice. You gonna kill this guy? No. Considering they're playing three colors and a Phyrexian Arena, I'm definitely bringing in the Acidic Slime. 
Any idea on a pre-constructed deck to pick up for the kids? Um, not off the top of my head. I don't really keep up with the pre-constructed market. I mean, unless you mean like, check out Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom actually has a ton of options like that, like uh, like battle decks. Speaking of which, you guys should email Card Kingdom and tell them to sponsor me. My friend Chris, who works at Card Kingdom, uh, mentioned it to me. And I was like, this sounds like a good idea. I should get a hold of Card Kingdom and have them do that. Have them do that. <laughs> like like it's just it's totally up to me I, i'm gonna have you guys do that thanks wow this was a hell of a turn flame slash into goblin Rabble master yeah i would like a fine finality here that would be great okay this is about enough uh <clears throat> i'm actually good on on lands here i'd appreciate less fewer fewer lands thank you black and green we'll put the black into play Josh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 13 months. What a time to be alive. Turn five. I played a forest and I reeled a swamp. So we're going to go into turn six with one, two, three, four, five. Is that, did I miss a land drop? No, that was my turn four. So our turn five is going to have six lands. That's correct. I mean, if we don't die here. Fine finality would be great because we can get Steel Leaf Champion back. No, we can't. That's not how that works. Never mind. Just keep playing things I can kill with a finality. And I'll just play the finality. Alright, that's not one of them. Well, this game has gone downhill fast. I feel like we're... Uh... If we can hit, like, a... Removal spell? For two? A braid is a removal spell. We can block Titan. <clears throat> Not terrible. One, two, three. I mean, like, we're really close to Gristlebrand here, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think we're a little too outside of our... out of our comfort zone here. Kill Rabble. Yes, correct. Correct, Noah. I will kill the one creature on board that poses the largest threat to me with... The single card that I could hit off of. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, this is this good actually game. I think this is exactly lethal. No, why would you why would you just kill me with lava claw reaches? Hold on, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana that you could use. Three of which to pump here. This is seven. Yeah, we would have been totally dead. You use two of it, right? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six mana to use on this guy, three to activate. So that leaves you with one, two, three to activate. Then you have one, two, three to pump this guy with. So it would have been a five plus six is 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that would have been exactly lethal. Well, that's something. All right. Okay. <clears throat> well, I am going to bring in Kitchen Finks here. I'm also going to bring in Knight of Autumn and possibly one Plains. And also Ultimate Price, which I think should be in the deck, to be quite honest. And also Damnation. And we're going to cut a lot of things. We're going to cut Whoop of Erebos. We're going to cut one of these two. And we're going to cut Gristlebrand, because I think it's a little greedy in this matchup. And I might just play 41, because I like doing that. That's a little uh, that's a little thing I like. Just a little thing I kind of like, like doing. Bring in the acidic slime. I think this is actually fine. Dun, 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 dun. Did Mike get a backyectomy yet? Not yet. He actually went to... So here's the thing. Mike went to urgent care on Friday. And he came back and he's like, they wanted 160 up front and I couldn't do it. Mike lives paycheck to paycheck more than anyone I've ever met. Um, and I was like... I was just kind of disappointed, you know? Um, so he's going to wait till he gets paid and then go to see his doctor. 
which I mean it's it's both a testament to Mike's spending habits and also a testament to the American healthcare system I think so that's good stuff yeah it totally sucks I as someone who has had back problems before I definitely do not envy the poor dude I will keep this hand almost immediately third turn second turn far seek into Nissa into Garrick is great Love you, I'm with Ollie again. Maybe you can get Card Kingdom on board with that. Uh, it's hard because Ollie already works for cool stuff. And a lot of times they don't want to mix. You know, like if, if Ollie writes for cool stuff, they don't want to mix. They don't want to sponsor a podcast with a cool stuff author. Does that make sense? Josh, where have you been, buddy? It's, I feel like it's been a while. It's been a while since I found my head up high. You guys know that song? Is that Nickelback? If you made a GoFundMe for his back, I don't have had a lot of medical problems and I've had a lot of support from different communities. I've had a lot of serious kicking on six at least. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But like the thing is by the time, and I, I agree with that. I think that's true. By the time it would finish, I think Mike would actually have, um, like he'd probably have, he'd probably have gotten paid by then, right? But I don't know. I mean, like I'll, I'll actually mention it to him and I'll see what he says because... Where can I find good modern? I have no idea. How would I know that? A hundred bits for Alvin Mike. Uh, what did they take? A Garrick? That's fine. Oh, see, the problem here is that we need one more land for this, but we can do it. We can do it. I believe. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe in the heart of the We can also copy Nissa if we actually absolutely have to. One hundred bits should cover it. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go with Mike to the urgent care and they're gonna be like, uh, oh, 160 bucks up front. And I'm gonna be like, well, what if I have these 100 bits hmm. and then they'll be like sir there's literally nothing in your hand right now and i'll be like mm, isn't there there is if you believe yeah that's fine nissa was not intended to stick around nissa was intended to draw us a card which she did oh my goodness gracious this is actually exactly what we wanted see you later lands The Florida not a state thing he could get uh Florida doesn't I mean like so here's the thing um because I am an independent contractor and I work from home and all these things I get a lot of deductions for my taxes so I can actually get uh Obamacare the affordable the affordable care act for like 15 bucks a month my insurance costs me like 15 bucks a month right and uh, that's not a lot. But the problem is Mike was just offered insurance at his job. He just had the option like maybe a month and a half ago uh, to get insurance at work. And he passed it up because he was like, I don't really need insurance. I'm healthy. And then, of course, in America, what happens is right after that happens, you get sick. Right. And then you've missed your employment window to get your insurance. And also it makes sense for him to, to, to bypass because it would have been like $200 every paycheck, which is a lot of money. $4 a month for insurance is a ridiculous amount of money. Um, so like, you know, I understand why he didn't actually get on insurance. It makes total sense because if you don't, if you're healthy at the time and you're not going to get sick, there's no reason to throw away 400 bucks a month, which is a lot of money when you, you know, make you know under 60k you know and then but so that's kind of the situation there which is it's frustrating to say the least shut up and take my money five help out mike bugs <laughs> all right i'm gonna kill this and i'm going to play garrick Hunter, stop. 
I've heard him licking his probably his butthole for like the past 30 minutes now and it's just super tilting like just stop licking your b-hole that's all you gotta do how can we help go for, I don't know I don't know I hate it's not my I mean I, like I hate to say it, but it's not my back issue you know so I haven't been like super focused on it because I have like the most I can do is be like dude please go to urgent care please go to the doctor please do this and take care of yourself please eat better please exercise please do this and as his friend I definitely try to do these things but like I mean you know outside of that like I haven't really invested too much into it uh discard two cards and deal two to Garrick that's fine I think we're probably going to keep the Doom Whisper here. I also like the idea of just pumping this guy and drawing six, but we can't do that yet, I guess. Um, we can't play Doom Whisper. We can play Kitchen Finks. <laughs> Is butthole licking against competitive REL? I imagine so. However, I'm not sure if the same rules apply to dogs and humans, so if Hunter was at an event, a competitive REL event, I'm not sure if he can get away with it. I'm going to just discard um, Metamorph is real good. I'm going to keep the Metamorph. If they play Primeval Titan or something, I think that's good. We'd have to hit another land for this guy, but, uh, you know, it's got to be a Swamp as well. All right. Well, let's see, we wouldn't have been able to play Doom Whisperer, but I like the idea of just having random dude in the queue to, to get busy. The third tail, welcome back, buddy. Three months in a row. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Also, another concern I have is if like Mike is out of work for a while and then loses his job, it's like, well, that's gonna be rough because that actually happened earlier this year and it was a whole to do. So, I might actually just pump this guy and draw six. Like that seems like a worthy a worthy way to cash up. We could have pumped Thorny, but I mean, I'd rather if they have like a lightning bolt, I'd rather just keep it around. I uh, didn't miss it. Just chose not to use it. Like we saw them have flame slash last game. So like if they want to kill this, I'd rather just be able to save it and not let them kill it. Thank you for, thank you for telling me about Thorn Mountain's ability. The Thorn Lieutenant's ability though. Appreciate it. Uh, I am probably gonna play. I think we're just. I think we don't have any reason not to just make another beast here. Like, we're the actually. Hold on, is this lethal? Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're just now we're gonna do it. So, Mitch, can you actually get open? Can you actually sign up for uh, Affordable Care Act health insurance if you are also offered it through the, through your job? Because that's what I, I thought you couldn't. Because Mike was offered insurance through his job, but he turned it down. Can he still sign up for for ACA coverage? Because I have ACA coverage. Interesting. Wow, yes, yes, 100%, yes. Interesting, interesting. Don't you have to sign up for insurance one way or another? Uh, yeah, I think you do, actually. I think you might actually have to have insurance. That's interesting. This hand is not interesting. Yeah, he'll definitely pay more than 15 bucks, but he's probably not going to be paying 400 bucks a month, so at least I wouldn't think so. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm going to keep this hand, and I will put you on the top. And I'm going to play you. At the very worst, we get to play Steel Leaf Champion on three. What do you What do you do for color red? What do you do for income right now? Yeah. 
if you don't mind me asking. Oh, that was a good draw. I like that because now with this and Steel Leaf Champion, we have a good amount of pressure here, and they missed a land drop, so that's even more pressure. I pay 150, 160 a month for my whole That's actually pretty insane. That's nuts, though. Yeah, I'm actually just going to tell him that when he gets back. And that's the end of the game. All right. <laughs> Good match. I want your job after your insurance these strange plans very right? interesting. So like most people just have it's just, they're just inclined they should just go with the the ACA anyway, right? That's what you're saying. Glad I don't have to think about this any of this at all. Yeah. Must be nice. I mean, federal, I just looked it up in federal tax rates for Canada, 15% on the first 46,000 you make, 20.5% on the next 46,000 you make. So up to $93,000, you're only paying a 20% tax bracket. So I'm pretty sure 33% tax bracket is uh, just a crazy, like made up number that people like to throw around to, to dis dissuade people from uh, universal health care. Because this is actually as of 2018, 20.5% is all you're paying up to $93,000 a year. So think that's probably more accurate which is pretty reasonable <laughs> this is not a super aggressive hand but any like ramping cultivate kodama's reach far seek signet utopia sprawl would be pretty nice all right Always with the Thorn Lieutenants. I'm okay with it. Friendly, are you in... Are you in Canada? Because that would make much more sense for you to... I mean, I would... I would I would take your word for it. Uh, much, much, much more likely... I'm much more likely to... Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the words are not coming, but you know what I'm saying. I don't think we're attacking here. I don't think us getting in for two is worth them getting in for four, so. I think I'll just double block and then we trade at East Tomorrow for a Thorn Lieutenant, which is not great. No blocks. Lingarange Solares. I wish I had a four drop instead of three five drops in my hand, but here we are. <laughs> Real finance hours here in the chat. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I don't want to take a million in the air. I think I might just do... Well, actually, do we just plow under? They didn't have anything. So I actually feel good about plowing under here because then they just sets them back, right? Like, we'll take four, go to ten. We'll play Doom Whisper block. We'll take two more, go to eight. Hey guys, welcome to Insurance Talk here on Frank's stream. Pep RX Talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. No blocks. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Do me boy. Oh, do me boy. Do you swords? I don't. Man, the Stormless Hen's holding down the fort against his dog, I guess. How do you have a fort drop now, but you didn't on the last turn? You've only drawn two planes since then. Oh, you had a card, you just didn't want to play it. I see. Very, very well then. Very well. Yep. That is worse. Yeah. Okay. We're having a good time. I'm going to go to the next game. And we're also going to bring in Damnation again. And Acidic Slime again. We're just going to bring in all the good cards here. Come on. This is ridiculous. Whip of Erebos can goo. One of these two can goo. Gristlebrand. Again, Gristlebrand just feels too greedy. Uh, do I want to this one? I like Night of Autumn here, especially if we can bring in a planes. Alternate price again. Damnation again. I think that's good. Kitchen Fink's probably very good here. Uh, we can take out nothing and go to 41, and I'm okay with that. Shouldn't the good cards just be in our main? I ask myself this all the time. Again, two five drops in hand. I don't know why we kept this hand, actually. I got, I got, I was laughing at the chat, and then it's just, it was too late. The time had passed. All right. Okay, dokie. I watched your last turn for early and I was feeling so frustrated for you in game one against the guy who gets a pass to the pack of negation. What is it? Do you guys see this bug in my face? Bug in my face. Bug, bug in my face. Hope I didn't eat it. Hope I didn't swallow that bug. All right, well. Russell Brown without tooth and nail is like not having insurance. I'm working on the plow, buddy. I'm working on it. We're going to get there. This is how you're going to be? Okay. Well, they're likely not going to exert here. Targonate, what's a DFAC? I don't I bet I could figure that out if, if I thought about it long enough, but I'm off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Damnation one time. Frasco Relic Seeker. One, two, three, four. We can kill this, but then she just dies. I guess we're just plowing here. It doesn't feel great. I feel like we're we're not aggressive enough in this matchup, unfortunately. Dining facility. Okay, defect. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good to know. Next time we actually can play Vraska and make a dude. Oh god, just damnation or fine. We have two sweepers. Damnation or fine finality one time. Come on, we don't ask for a lot. Come on, we can do it. Well, that guy's going to come back, but only as a 2 1. Right now we're taking 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a lot. Going to 10. Needing a sweeper. I think. Oh, God, we're good at this game. Lucky, 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 lucky. And we know they're going to draw a land. So they can attack us for 4, which is pretty bad, but we can. If we get a land, if we get a 
a planes. One, two, three, four, five. We're in good shape. We can go Vraska, kill this. Don't play more things. It's just oh, now we can't play Vraska. This is this is really this is something. Long time watcher, first time commenter. What are your thoughts on Bustin? Thank you for the content. Well, I'm about to bust. Bustin makes me feel good, so that's good. So I guess we can play Garrick instead. Hope they don't have Conclave. Well, even if they do, they can't. All right. Really need a white land here. Really need a white land here. Just gonna, just gonna silk wrap that guy. Seems good, and still have enough mana to kill me. Must be nice. Hmm, hadn't considered that. Now you know. Yep. Good game. Both sides. Both sides played hard. If we survived this turn, we would have hit a forest. Not entirely exciting. Okay. Well, that was fun. I had a good time. I'm going to take out... I still like Gristlebrand in the deck. Yeah, I don't think it's fine. I don't know why Silkwrap is in this cube. That's really weird. It's not really a... I mean, the card is certainly legal in Modern. But I don't think that's good enough <sighs> didn't know how to play around silk wrap but there's no real come on deck I have utopia sprawl signet far seek kodama's reach and cultivate that's at least five things that can help me get to these things I'm gonna mulligan this hand all right oh see no forest though great I guess we're just hoping to hit a forest can you be a forest on top? No, you cannot be. All right, we can do it. Forest. That gets us a forest. So I accept. I accept your offering. Well, actually, Farsi can't seek search for us. It'll get about to swap an island or a blade, dubby. Well, got a forest, didn't we? Dummy. We can tap this for a green, put it on here, and then play Eternal Witness to get back Farseek. Let's do that. Our opponent has actually not missed a land drop. We just did exciting things, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to get this back because the odds are us playing find, fi uh, find finality on the find half is pretty high when we can get back Eternal Witness. mirror entity all right let's do that this is a lot of ramp right now this is nice one two three we're gonna get one swamp one forest no no swamp forest forest because we can't get a forest with uh with far seek, so we're just gonna get swamp. And now I have four black, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one man away from gristle branding. Hanger back for two. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five. Only here a minute, but happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Frank, for your heartful comment. For the reasons I've been sporadic on Twitch, it's full of quotes, so I was asking about it. 
766 left. Tanos, you are awesome, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Love you, buddy. You are the best. <laughs> Hope you had a great holiday, dude. Uh, despite, you know, familial issues, if those ar arose. So we can play this. One, two, three, four, five. We can play Nissa. And then we can also play Primetime. That seems good. God, Tanos always makes his presence known in the most uh, grandiose ways, for sure. And rightfully so, rightfully so. I will use Primeval Titan's ability. I will get all the lands that we can get. Actually, I mean, Hangerback Walker with a uh, mirror entity on board is actually pretty scary. Big Monkey, please don't spam the chat with the same questions, buddy. I actually don't know. I'm not a huge... I mean, I love Modern as a format, but I don't know all the matchups and the ins and outs. Um, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate because we have fine finality, so I guess that guy's gone. Oh, this is great because we can block here. And then we can finality, I guess. Before this guy gets a little out of hand. Um, yeah, we kind of have to do that, I guess. Two, three... And target land becomes a 4 4 elemental. I'll choose you. Oh, actually, I didn't respond the first time because I wasn't sure. And I was also in the middle of this. No big deal. I mean, it's not a, not a huge, not an huge issue. I don't have a problem with people bringing up the same topic. Like, if you want to talk about it more, like, and be like, hey, does anybody have any advice? Like, that's cool. But just, like, copying and pasting, it just feels limb, limb personal, we'll say. <laughs> well, I'm definitely playing this because I have no incentive not to thin my deck even further. And I also have no reason to keep a land in hand. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can hard cast an Emrakul here. That's money. a thing. Dingus egg, five bones. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. You guys are great. Oh, this is awkward because now they just kill Nissa. I guess we're just trading, though. Yeah, but still. Feels Batman. Eleven hours until they unban twin. Uh, no, unlikely. Uh, if we made the 4 for first and then finality, it would get two counters, but it would also be a 2-2 two -two for the turn. So, I don't know. I valued dealing an extra two damage that turn uh, over getting the two counters. Maybe that was wrong. Yep, that's a thing. Seems good. I mean, that's probably incorrect. Eleven hours of play. Don't ban unban stone forge mystic. Yeah, that's that's also a thing. Yeah, I added the surprise Pikachu emote for those who are interested. It's a solid play. I would love for them to unban stone forge in modern. It would just be a, a nice change of pace. Oh, okay, let's do that. We have no way to make blue, so I guess we're just gonna pay the we're gonna pay the iron price for this guy. Well, this is nice because we get to just get rid of Gideon here, unless they have a two mana spell. Oh no, they don't. This guy. Oh, dang it! Dang it, Aleshnorn. Biscuits.
Yep, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've we have six lands left in our deck, so only thirty three percent lands, which is low. about to bust oh that seems good I'm gonna play this god the lifelink the everything oh my goodness gracious of course they got rid of our primal our, our prime time Oh, Eternal Witness, though. That Eternal Witness, though. Oh, what can we get back with Eternal Witness? Ooh, Biscuits. So, one, two, three, four. Whip back. One, two, three. Basically nothing. Well, there's no ultimate price in our graveyard, so that would be great if there was. It's the world I want to live in. We can't we can't do a find finality this turn. Unfortunately. God, I wish I could just kill this idiot though. We can kill both of their guys and keep our swamp our swamp guy alive. So I tried to pause you. I, I forgive you. Uh, if you're ever used to my content so much, if you watch so much of my content that you try to do a different mode than, uh, than is expected, uh, that is totally fine. All right, so... ATAC. I don't think there's any way to get rid of both of these Planeswalkers, but we're going to try. So, we're going to go this one at Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. So, you're going to prob probably block here. This one at Gideon, Jura. And this one at Ally again of Zendikar, I guess. So, here's the thing. If they block here, we still get to kill Gideon, Jura, and deal damage to If they block here, which they probably don't want to do... Um, Yeah, I think this is actually fine. How do you MTGA being able to see what the opponent is looking at? Uh, I don't think that's an issue. Like you can do that in real life too. It's just a it's just a feature of digital card games, really. Yep. So we get to kill Gideon Jura and neuter Gideon Ally of Zendikar. That's totally fine. And we get to gain a bunch of life here. We lose Eternal Witness. That's okay. We also get to Finality here. If they, so it kind of disincentivizes them from playing anything else. Or not. Yeah, alright. This is all fine, I guess. Um, I'll block here because you have no other cards in hand. So we took two. Well then, isn't that a thing? Finality. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Uh, I'm actually tempted to just whip back Steel Leaf Champion to try to kill you. I want to rebuild their Aleshnor, and it's what she would have wanted. Yeah, they did it for the Praetors. I just want Gideon off the board. And if they don't, like if Gideon doesn't get off the board, then we get to kill Aleshnorn, so all of that's fine. I think losing one turn of Garrick is just fine. I was like, oh, I'll attack with Leshnorn too, just for funds. So you like to keep Gideon or Leshnorn. You choose a Leshnorn. I also rebuilt a Leshnorn. We're both rebuilding our Leshnorns from, from the ground up. Only I have a whip of Erebos and a Garrick. Which seems good. Yeah, if they had anything that could, like, kill, uh, we would probably just not be able to attack with Leshnorn here. I'm also comfortable playing Thorn Lieutenant because if they do have a way to kill Leshnorn, it still survives as an 0-1, so it's not a huge deal. That's a pretty cool dude. I'm okay with that. This is round three, right? Look at all my life linkers. Let's do that. Oh, butter my biscuits. I will choose Aleshnorn. I will also draw six cards. Like you do. I think the game ended. And I'll gain 15 life. And then I'll just play a Vivian Reed. Because if they do have a way to wipe the board, I don't just want to have Garrick on board, so. That was dirty, but clean. What does that even mean? We won that game. Ultimate Price should have been in the deck from the beginning, and I keep making the mistake of not bringing it in. Um, I do like 41 here. Aleshnor is a beating. So I kind of want Slaughter Pact as well. So is Hero of Bladehold. I think we want the, the Pact in here. I'll take Gristle Daddy out again. God, I boarded him out every game. I think this is fine like this. Oh, what up, Chris? Two Chris's in the chat? Unless Nifty Chris took off. Where did Nifty Chris go? Oh, I can't handle these. Um, This seems fine. When's the next Commander Night? I don't know, actually. I had a couple of people wanting to commission decks in the queue, and then they disappeared, and I was like, dang it, where did you go? I thought we were going to do Commander, and then they left. I usually I I I usually was only doing Commander Night when someone commissioned me to play a Commander deck, and that was working out pretty well because there was a lot of interesting commanders. So if you guys want to want me to play your Commander decks and tweak it with Mike on on stream, check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below.
I don't like going into turn three with no way to do anything. Could just play Metamorph here, actually. That's not terrible. I'll crunch my Gave deck if you've got a slot. I have tons of slots open. I don't think you've done... Shot, I, don't, I know you haven't done one for this month. Oh, this is the bad... That's the bad Soren. Oh, no, this is a good Soren. I saw a 2-2 Vampire and I was like, oh, it's the bad Soren. And then I was like, oh, no, it's the good Soren. Phil, did I miss it? That makes me sad. Hit me up. Email me. Phil, email me at, at my email address. It should be in the description below. In the old profilio. Yeah, Muldroth is definitely like... My, my dude... So next turn we can Nissa, which leads us into either one of these. We only have two forests though, so uh, we can untap two forests if we draw Thorn Lieutenant and play that as well, which is not terrible. I don't like whatever they're playing though. Gideon Jura is pretty good. Kill the Banalish Marshal. We have no pressure on board. That's not great. I crushed it in GP. Really? Really? Well, if we play Nissa, she just dies. So I'm going to play Whip here instead. And this is actually pretty problematic. I don't really have that many answers for these guys, unfortunately. Thank you. Violing, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Three months in a row. What a time to be alive. Thank you. The Shadows, welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. Hopefully you're doing all right. Ten months in a row, that is a good amount of time. My god, time flies when you're talking about Magic the Gathering. Can we draw one of our... Now I want the sweep. I didn't realize I wanted sweepers this badly, but apparently I do. What's going on here? Uh, Because Sultai is like one of my preferred... Uh, it's like my preferred clan, you know? If we could draw fine finality here, I would be m muchos grateful. That's a Utopia Sprawl. It's not really the same, but I appreciate your... I appreciate your moxie. Let's go with a... green, because Metamorph's in the graveyard. Grave Titanos. I mean, I feel almost okay about this matchup solely because... Are they going to ultimate Soren? This doesn't seem great when we have... Oh, actually... Oh, that's terrible. They might just get our Grave Titan. That's pretty bad. I don't like that at all. They could also destroy these guys. No, they would just, just destroy this guy, these two. Yep, that's exactly what I said. Whoo, biscuits. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Well, I suppose I'll block. Come on, find finality one time. Oh boy. Abrupt decay, huh? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, that's not really the same. That's not really what we're looking for here.
Oh my god, the Tassiger. Tass, little Tassie! Oh, don't get yourself in trouble, little Tassie. Yeah, I think we're dead. I'm gonna bring in the Damnation. I think that's good. I almost like Aether Street Harvester just to attack them, but... I don't know if that's great. I still feel like we're drawing uh, a, a, an inconsequential amount of ramp in our ramp deck. I don't think I like Abrupt Decay here. I don't think it actually does a lot. Thank you. Bad Magic Player, thank you so much for the reason of two years. Happy subversary, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. Oh, I'll keep this all day. Uh, scavenging Goose is all right. I, I don't think it's doing anything spectacularly here, and, and we're, our, our deck space is at a premium. Black source. All right. Next turn is pretty good for Plow Under, actually, because they'll have three lands, so we Plow Under, and then we go for Aska. And I feel like that's pretty unwinnable for them. Not for us, for them. And pass. See you later, lands. Like, they're back on turn two, and we get to play Vraska. Like, it's just... Plow Under is not a reasonable magic card. I don't think it's good in this cube. Like, this cube is not... Like, the modern cube is not a place for Plow Under, I think. Because you're just, like, setting... Like, they don't have artifact mana. It's not like you can actually, um... You can't take care of yourself very well in this in the modern cube. You know what I'm saying? Phil, give me more details about the deck. Like, what are you looking to do? Do you want me to do you want me to play it? Are you are you looking to critique it, or I mean, how do we how do we what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And next time we get to flip Nissa, which is pretty strong. Magic the Gathering is not a place for Plow Under. I think that's a fair assessment. I'm just going to attack here because I have no intention of blocking with Nissa. So, but I do. Oh, butter my biscuits. Well, it's, it's ironic because Vraska could kill the Oblivion Ring, but she's too busy stuck under it. I mean, in all fairness, they. We do get to play Nissa here, so. And by play, I mean flip. Thank you. Charlie Wayne, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Two months in a row, you catch that Buster Scruggs? I did. I watched Buster Scruggs last night. It was actually very good. I was thrilled with it. That was, that was like premier Coen Brothers right there. I'm not going to attack because I want to be able to block Kitchen Finks and protect Nissa. Yeah, if you guys are fans of the Coen Brothers and you have not watched The Ballad of Buster Scruggs on Netflix, definitely do so. You're going to go in and you're going to wonder what you're watching. 
and it becomes pretty clear um, relatively quickly. It has a, a fantastic, fantastic cast as well. Um, I don't think it's where Kurt Russell plays Santa. That's where they play Soren and make a guy, and then we're just actually infinitely far behind. That's going to die. But we don't have to do that now. We can wait to see what we draw so we can actually play a thing on our turn. Yep, that's good. Oh, that's not as good. I played some standard with a friend last night and set his life total one from 35 with Veraska. Oh, yeah, 34 point life swing seems pretty good. I really enjoy it. I really didn't enjoy it all much because I like stories that end in not horrible morbidity. Uh, I don't think it ended in horrible morbidity. I thought the ending was fine. I think some of the stories were definitely darker than others, but I don't think in general, like there were some uplifting ones too. Anyway, movie's great. If you guys so if you don't if you're not Coen Brothers fans, you might not enjoy it. It's definitely it definitely has a Coen Brothers storytelling storytelling uh feel to it. Like you can definitely if you watched it, you would definitely be like, yeah, this is Coen Brothers. Uh definitely I don't don't think I gave anything away about the ending other than it wasn't m morbid. <laughs> but I don't think that's a huge spoiler. But either way, I appreciate the uh I appreciate the appreciation of spoilers, so. Whatever that means. Uh, what else did the Coen brothers do? The Coen brothers did True Grit, Big Lebowski, Fargo, Miller's Crossing, uh, Barton Fink, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Raising Arizona. Coen Brothers did a bunch of stuff. Coen Brothers are fantastic. <gasps> so. I'm going to keep revealing here. Hopefully we won't hit lands. Oh, they did Hudsucker Proxy too. Yeah, that's correct. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're one mana shy from doing all the things. I'm tempted to just go Eternal Witness Plow under again. Gold Digger Star was great. Um, I think my favorite was probably the. F I think the Buster Scrug Star was the best. I actually thought that was fantastic. I didn't because I didn't know what to expect, and then as you watch it, you're just like, oh wow, I figured out what to expect. So this is tricky. Do we just plow under? But then, like, they have a bunch of. Nah, I guess we get a we get a witness back. Let's make sure we didn't play land here. All right. Yeah, the Coen Brothers actually did a uh, a lot of movies. Once I was going over them, I was like, this is a ridiculous amount of movies that they've done. I feel like we can attack here. Like, if they want to attack, we can just block. I don't think we have any uh, affinity towards Eternal Witness, and, and Steel Leaf Champion is a lot of damage. I really hope we pull a greater F out of nowhere so we can use that quote. Yeah, it's it feels like it's not the same without the quote. Yep, this is lethal, but I'm going to get rid of this guy. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, we can play both of these. That's really strong. Find finality. Doom Whisper? Pretty sure it's just Garrick Doom Whisper here. Let's attack first. Oh, all right. We're just going to win the game. That was weird. Were you ghosting? You just saw what we drew? That was weird. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm probably not leaving. Or I'm watching on Twitch, I'm probably not leaving it. Give me one second. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, you can slam those like and subscribe buttons and be sure to hit that bell. You get notifications when new videos go up. You can also check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. And finally, please, 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 if you guys are looking for new lounge pants, onesies, socks, tees, anything you really need, uh, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can use my affiliate link. You'll get 15% off. You will also get free shipping and free returns on those. And uh, it's a great way to help the stream out. It helps me out. It helps you out. And uh, if you guys want to support the stream by actually buying something functional that you'll probably need, it's a great way to do it. So please check that out. I will see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. Love you guys.